Luke chapter 12 and verse 2. For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. First and foremost, I'd like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakah Korash, the honor to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone. Salutations to all that I can push this word with true sincerity and with charity. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, whom the word in calls God and Jehovah, Bahasham is in the name. Yahweh Shai is his son's name, but the word in calls Jesus, and Rakah Korash is the Holy Spirit. And as always, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans are the Israelites, according to the Holy Scriptures, as well as the speckled bird, the scattered Israelite foreigner, scattered amongst other nations whose outer appearance may seem to be of those nations to whom they've been scattered to, but whose lineage, excuse me, through their father's line, go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are Israelites, no matter what your outer appearance may seem to be. And as always, I'm the brother of your from the Grimstone Branch here in Chicago, and I'm back at you another lesson. It's going to be entitled, So You Still Want to Be Famous, Huh? You see, and as um, we read in that Luke 12, Hey, I hit it one more time. It says, for there is nothing covered, Luke 12 and 2, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. And hey, the Lord, he's been um, exposing all the wickedness in this earth and all these different industries and this whole setup and um, showing you that um, hey, in order to prosper in this world, you have to sell out. You see, you have to go against hey, what you know is right, you know, what well, you got to go against what the Heavenly Father ordained is right. And wrong, you gotta go against what's right, and you gotta bow down and serve Satan. You see, and um, that's why the scriptures tell us to not love this world, neither the things that are in it. You see, but um, as you see on the screen right here, you got Meek Mill and, and Diddy, and Diddy, he's been <laughs> he's a damn rap mogul, you know, and um, he's been the one that's been tossed to the wolves as of lately, so to say, you know, and a lot of this could be you know, uh, just smoke and mirrors to distract from greater issues, but nonetheless. Hey, all that all that dirt that these guys do behind the this, this, this scenes is coming out in order to um, prosper in this world, in order to get some type of gain in this world. <laughs> hey, you have to um, you have to sell your soul, man. You see. And um, and do all manner of, of evilness, you know, supposedly these two have been having, you know, you know, uh, <laughs> parties you know these these damn gay parties you know i don't i don't give a fuck man look hey these hey that works on darkness man you know all you all you jakes out there that want to be a part of that industry you know you got a lot of jakes that's turned the blind the blind uh a damn what they call that a uh a blind eye to it and this is what it's all about this is how these guys get down and we're not surprised we've been telling you this and the script has been told us how these guys get down behind the scenes this Ephesians 5 and 11, I have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. And hey, Jake been around Esau, eating them sober claim, white man, the devil, according to the Bible, too long. And hey, they've took part in their um, in their ways and their customs, you know, and, and doing what they want to do to do what, you know, to get uh, money, you know, to get fame and all these different things. And in doing so, <laughs> they didn't they they um. Hey, they, they, they did some very horrid things, to say the least. First Timothy 6 and 5. First, it's like a perverse disputing of men of corrupt minds and destitute of truth. Supposing that gain is godliness from such withdraw thyself, right? And they, they ain't nothing wrong. It says money is a defense, you know, but our whole goal is not to be sitting here to, um, we're not to chase after money. You know, it says labor not to be rich, Right? It says, but godliness with contentment is great game. A, a, as much as possible being a, a be perfect as your father is in heaven and being content with what you do have, what the Lord gives you. It says, for we brought nothing into this world and it's certain we can carry nothing out. And having food and raiment, having, you know, something to eat and, and, and clothing, roof over our head, let us be there with content. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare and into many foolish and hurtful lusts. Which drown men in, in, in destruction and perdition. And these guys chasing after money and doing all these different things, <laughs> you know, they end up uh, getting in bed with the devil, literally and figuratively, and do all manner of, of dark works. You see, this guy Diddy, you know, hey, hey, hey you, I'm not going to go into everything that they're saying. You can go look at it for yourself, but hey, we know what they're doing, man. Sacrificing uh, all type of uh, sexual, uh, what's the word? Uh, like depth. It's 
basically like all types of, of weird shit, man. Fornication, so to say. All men of whoredom, you know. Ungodliness, right? It says, for the love of money is the root of all evil. And these guys love money. They're covetous. They have an evil desire to get more and more. And in doing so, as it's going to say, for the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows, right? And then chasing out the money, desiring money, and wanted to get this and get all this, the big houses. And, you know, Jake ended up selling their soul, bending down, and <laughs> blowing rod to get this, to get that. And that's all that, that, you know, specifically that music industry is about. Puts enchantments on the people and behind the scenes is all manner of freakism. But the Lord is bringing all these things to light. You see, you, you, you got people that idolize rappers and idolize these um singers and musicians. But hey, behind the scenes, they're doing all manner of evil stuff. If you knew the type of shit that they was doing. Hey, 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 you, hey, you want these people <laughs> put down. Verse 10, for the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. But thou, O man of God, flee these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. Right. So, hey, these people all in error chasing after these things. Where the hey, focus on the straight gate, chase after the um, goodly things, lay not your um, possess your um, your treasure on earth. But lay it up in heaven where neither moth nor rough doth corrupt and thieves don't break through and steal. It says, fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called, and that's prof profess a good profession before many witnesses, right? We're to push this word, man. Not be down here, um, a errand from the Heavenly Father, you know, going contrary to his word and, and your own morals to get some to get some substance, to get some things, some toys. So rock ten and nine, why is earth and ashes proud? There is none, there is not a more wicked thing than a covetous man, for such as one set of his own soul to sell, right? And all these jakes that, that's in that, 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 um, that, that do this, man, I, ultimately, they don't care about the Heavenly Father, they don't care about you, they know, they know they're leading you into error, promoting all these, um, all this, um, garbage, these enchantments on the people, you know, and they don't care about the Lord, right? It says, for such as one set of his own soul to sell, because while he lived, he cast away his bowels. And these guys, in order to gain money and get possessions and do so forth, these guys would, hey, it's nothing they wouldn't do to, to, to get it. You see, you got to beware of guys like that. There's Proverbs 10 and 22. It says, the blessing of Yahweh, it maketh rich, and he out of no sorrow with it. Right, and we have that godliness, you know, want to be lavish and bald, but hey, it's a right and a wrong way to do it. You don't bend down and sell your soul to the, to the devil, you know, blow ride, do all these different things that these guys do. No, you worship the Heavenly Father. The Heavenly Father is going to make us rich. He's going to give us the earth and everything they're in. But we must um, do it the right way uh, and obey him. You see? I'm going to hit that again. Proverbs 10 and 22. The blessing of Yahweh, it make it rich and he out of no sorrow with it. Right. These guys are rich. They can't go to sleep. You know, they, they, they sold, <laughs> sacrificed family members, sons, daughters, whatever it may be, you know. And, and, and they're still Jake's, you know, and, and, and their conscience is eating them up. You got this nigga Diddy with shades on at night. All these guys, you know. This Psalms 37 to 1, a psalm of David, fret not thyself because of evil doers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. Right. And you see the wicked flourish in this world, what this world was given unto them. Hey, if you, if you, hey, if this world, if you're prospering in this world, guess what? The Lord ain't dealing with you. You know? If you are of the world, the world will love his own. Right? It says, fret not thyself because of evil doers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. And us with, within this knowledge, we're not to look at that and be in, oh man, I wish I was in. I was in, I wish I was the next Biggie, Diddy, Diddy and Meek Mill. No, fuck that. It says, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and whether as the green herb. And they, Esau eating the supper clean white man. The Lord's going to bring his kingdom down. And all you Jakes that didn't, um, a cast it away, a didn't strayed away from the Lord and joined this man. It says, uh, he that hoping and he that is hoping shall both fall, roughly paraphrasing. It says, trust in Yahweh and do good. So shall thou do well in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Right, what a trust on the Lord, in the Lord. 
right? It says, delight thyself also in Yahweh, and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart, right? And hey, you follow the Lord. That's how you, that's how you, and we want things, hey, you, 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 um, you follow the Lord, man. You seek to the Lord, and the Lord will give you things, man. Not, um, rebelling and going about your own way to, to get things. Nah, man, to hell with that. We're going to wait on the Lord. It says in Isaiah, it says before, um, you know, speaking of the prophecies, the kingdom of heaven, hey, before we even ask the Lord for something, he's going to already bring it to pass, right? That's the power that we're dealing with. We don't have to sell out to, to um, Esau, Eden, a sober, clean white man. No, nah, the Lord's going to make us, going to uh, establish us, set us up, give us land. All these things that these Jakes are um, trying to sell a soul for, so to say. It says, commit thy way unto Yahweh and trust in also in him, and he shall. It's like, let me add that again. Psalms 37 and 4. Delight thyself also in Yahweh, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto Yahweh. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Right. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in Yahweh and wait patiently. That's some folly. It says, rest in your house and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him that prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked advice to pass. Right? Don't be um, scared or fretting or whatever it may be because you see Esau eating ruling. The Lord's going to take this man and his kingdom down, and we're going to rule it next. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil, for evil doers shall be cut off. But those that wait upon your house, they shall inherit the earth. Right? And the Lord is going to get all these jakes that, that sold out, all of them, you know? You got guys that in, um sold out to prosper on this side. Hey, the end of that is a hey, death. You see? Damn, shit. Lord made this woman a dwarf. Damn. It's a lot. It says, cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. For evil doers shall be cut off. But those that wait upon Yahweh, they shall inherit the earth. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yea, thou shalt diligently consider his place, and there shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in abundance of peace. See, the meek is going to inherit the earth. You see, and then we'll be able to, um, when the Lord turns back our captivity, that's when we're going to be able to get the goodly things, enjoy this world without having to go against the morals, lost as commandments of the Heavenly Father. You see? So, a little one, this is a quick edifying lesson. Call her like Mlach, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushah, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. The bond of the elders and the apostles of the great millstone say, Taste to the I can push his word to share it with charity. Shalom, brother, thumb, while Kwame Ashwala, Shalom.